so I turned 13. Um, normally, whenever my birthday comes around, I enter into this, this deeply pensive mood where I just reflect over the year and everything that has happened. And um, this year, I feel like I wanted to share what normally goes through my head when these things happen. I wanted to share it with you guys this year. Um, as you can see, baby dog put up this really nice celebration in the house. Um, it's really amazing. I woke up to it. I was really surprised. She couldn't blow the, the balloons because she didn't have enough enough lung capacity at the time. But I really appreciate it. Um, just a quick recap. The first year I did this was for my birthday in 2021. That was the year that I left Cuba. That was the year that I almost lost my father. Um, my dad had a stroke earlier in 2021. And, you know, one of the most scary things is being a medical school student, knowing everything that can go wrong and knowing all the areas that we lack in a third world country to really be able to treat and manage strokes in a timely manner. So that was one of the scariest things for me. My dad was bedridden for some time. Um, and these are the times I really try and test our faith. And by the grace of God, my dad pulled through. I mean, a almost perfect recovery. Right now, I would honestly say he made a perfect recovery. But the way that he recovered showed me that it's just God. And that's why I do believe and I stress that only a fool says in his heart that there is no God. The second year, um, well, that was the end of 2021. I had just started working, just got married. So there was a lot of things happening that year that I was very grateful for. And, you know, God had just allowed us to get married, to start our lives together, had allowed me to get a job in St. Lucia. All the pieces were falling into place and my dad was still there to celebrate with us and, and God was just good. God has always been good, but that year, to me, God was good. The following year for 2022, which was last year, um, we had gone through the internship period because I had started internship about eight days before I for my birthday, internship started on the 1st of December, 2021, my birthday was on the 9th. So the following year, we had ended internship. And in my heart, I was grateful that God took us to the end of that year. Took us through internship. He kept us. He allowed us to see yet another, well, me to see yet another birthday. And then it, it marked the beginning of the final year of 20 so i was entering 29 in 2022 and i sat there and i thought you know what um now i'm on the brink of 30 what is it that i hope to accomplish what is it that i have accomplished over the past um few years i usually believe that the first decade of life is formative years you figure out your personality your style what you like what you don't like your favorite color etc the second decade of school from 10 to 20, that's where you kind of, you focus, it's mostly like schooling years. And the third decade is, is transitional year between 20 and 30. That's when people more often than not, they start their careers, they get married, they start their families, etc. And now moving, entering into my fourth decade of life, because being 30 means I've completed three decades completely. Now moving into my fourth decade. And it's that area of life where people tend to become a little bit more settled. They know what they want to do. They're having more kids. They're extending their family. They've done, they've done their masters or they're finishing up their masters. They're now putting everything into, into play. And that year from 29 to now was one of the most difficult years in my life. Um, for those of you who really, really know me, there was something that happened during this year that really tested me, broke me, and hopefully one day I'll share it with you guys here on, on YouTube, but um, that was really a test for me. And when I went through that, I was like, you know what, God, I really, really, really need you. I'll not sit here and say that my faith has always been the best. Back then, I've, 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 I've wavered with my faith. 
I know James talks about a man with wavering faith, but I have had difficulty with my faith. I've asked God, you know, help me with my unbelief. But that thing really kind of shook me. And there are not many things that shake me, but that one really kind of took its toll on me. Uh, moving into 2023, Shimon and I, we sat down, we pulled out a pen and a paper, and we said, this is what we hope to see happen in our lives in 2023. Um, I don't have the, the paper right there, but one of the things we said, we wanted to have a baby this year. That's one. Second thing is we said we wanted to start a YouTube channel. Um, we also wanted to make friends, make couple friends, married friends who believe in God and who have the same goal, the same end goal as we do. Um, because during our last year, 2022, we spent a lot of time alone. We were isolated from friends and family. It was mostly just work. The work schedule was crazy. And we spent a lot of time alone. So we asked God, you know, to send people in our lives who who can be there for us and who we can also be there for. And by the grace of God, the year started. Um, that's when I left internship. I went to teach. She mean when she started working. And God just kept taking care of us, providing for us, sending people in our lives to, to encourage us. Um, we found out that we were pregnant earlier in the year. I think that was March, April. And I was just so excited over the moon. <laughs> um, and even the people who were around us at the time, they were very supportive, very encouraging. You know, I really like to thank God for everyone. I'm going to specifically name some people simply because these people have just been like an anchor. Like God alone knows how. So we got pregnant and then we started working. Well, she was working. And eventually in April, I transitioned from teaching back to medicine um, because I was told that I only have six months out of to be out of practice so my six months would have ended in june i did not want to leave teaching in the middle of the third semester so i had spoken to the teachers and the, the principal and everything and i explained to them the situation and everybody was actually very encouraging they encouraged me to go back to medicine um, since then i've been working in the emergency department um, One of the most amazing feelings in the world is having a head of department who is a Christian. And I don't say that very lightly because when your head of department believes in God, and we're not just talking believe in God, when your head of department is a praying head of department who seeks the face of God, there's fasting, she prays, she fasts and everything. You see the evidence of that in the department. Since I've been there, there have been engagements, marriages, um, births, pregnancies, and it shows that there is a lot of fruit being produced in the department. I've seen members of my department pull aside and have prayer sessions. And to me, it's just, it's so, it's just, it's just different. It is very different. The culture is different. The people are not toxic, at least in my opinion, because I, I, I like to see the best in people and the personalities they mesh so well and god has just been so good you know coming to the end of the year um Shumin had all these pregnancy scares a couple of times and i had just been concerned about baby i was like you know lord please i want her to be developing properly to have all her fingers all her toes and everything and that day when on the 8th of november when we went in, well, we went in on the 7th, but on the 8th when they decided for C-section. And I sat there and, 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 and we're doing this, well, I stood and we're doing the C-section and I, I looked at Shemin and the doctors were reaching in and pulled out baby and baby started crying. Yeah, oh my gosh. In that moment, I felt like God had taken a very difficult situation in my life and had birthed something beautiful out of it. And I just, I, I could not explain it, you know. I have been, God has been taking us from grace to grace, from favor to favor, um, to the point where there are things that 
God has given us that our qualifications don't merit, our statuses they don't achieve, our knowledge and ability cannot um, reach. But God has been gracious and God has been faithful. And there's just been so much support um, moving into this pregnancy section. Um, during the course of the year, during the course of the pregnancy, it was something that, you know, there were some things that had happened as well that had kind of shaken my faith a little bit. I've always been searching for like deep connected friendships and I've, we've kind of had some issues in terms of that with some people, but other people stepped in and showed themselves. And one of the two people that I'm extremely grateful for, the family that I'm grateful for this year is the CCs. Um, I feel like God sent them at just the absolute right time and they've been there they've encouraged us through pregnancy through parenthood even spiritually as well and i've just god has just been i, I don't even know where to begin i do believe and i i stress again that only a fool sees in his heart that there is no god last night um baby was a little fussy so we were just walking i was just walking around with her and in the background it was playing evidence a song that says i see the evidence of your goodness all over my life all over my life and i was like wow guys i can't even begin to explain i this reminds me of of, of when moses was when moses went to the mountain and he came down and the, the children of israel had um had sinned against god and he told God, if you wipe the, if you're going to wipe them, if you're going to wipe the names out, wipe my name out as well. But if you don't, and then there's a, a, a hyphen right there in the Bible, because Moses could not understand a concept by which God, who is God, who has all right to do godly things, who had people who sinned against him and the wages of their sin would have been death. And he's now asking God to do something that he himself didn't even understand. And that is the concept of grace. At that time, Moses did not understand grace because the punishment of sin was death. And words, that's, that's why I find myself, I find myself right now, I'm in a hyphenated moment. I cannot explain the grace of God over my life. There have been things that have happened in our lives. We have attained physical things, but the physical things are an outward manifestation of the grace of God on the inside of our lives. You know, God has put people in our in our lives that we could speak to, that we could mentor, that we could discuss things with. God has put people in our lives who can mentor us. And that has been one of the my, my my biggest goals for 2023 you know i asked god to send us people send us friends send us people who can encourage us who we can encourage and god did not fall short in that area and on top of that god being god decides to give us exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think so i sit here today extremely grateful for what god has done throughout this past year taking us from glory to glory, from favor to favor. Um, even when we when we delivered, when she mean delivered, when we brought baby home, you know, we had people who showed up to our doorstep with food and they said, hey, eat this. This is for you. I prepared this for you. I'm bringing breakfast, lunch, and dinner. All I need you to do is to take care of your baby. We had people who came who helped us clean. We had people who came who helped us take care of baby while she mean slept. We have just been seeing the hand of God over and over and over and over in our lives. And words cannot even express it. So last night when I was walking with baby and I, I held it in my hands and, and I just I became so emotional. I actually started crying because this little one is the manifestation of the promise of God. You know, early in the year, one of the prophets had, had um, 
I'd spoken to my mother that we would have had a birth in the family this year. And this little one is the manifestation of the promise of God. Shimin and I only had an idea. We wanted to have a baby this year. It was our desire to have a baby this year. But many other plans of man, God is the only one who approves and disapproves. And God saw it fit to look down on us with grace and mercy and to grant us the desires of our heart. He gave us a baby girl. We wanted a baby. We've always wanted a baby girl. For as long as I can remember, I met Shimin in 2016 and from 2017, 2018, there about, we've been talking about having a baby girl. We would nickname her Vinci Lu because her mother is from St. Vincent and her father is from St. Lucia, so Vinci Lu. But God has been so gracious to us. Um, so we decided to name baby Azaria Grace Prosper. Azaria meaning helped by God. Grace simply because of the season that we're living in and the inexplicable hand of God in our lives. So yes, my 29 started off rough, but towards the end of it, I found myself just, just humbled and just full of grace. God has provided so much for us in terms of financially, financial means have been showing up even when we were not sure where they would come from to the point where we've been trying our best to help other people as well financially and god has just been blessing us and i'm not just talking about just financial blessing god has just been blessing us with quality of people um he's just been sending people to encourage us to hold us accountable to to teach us to hold our hands to be there with us and it, it has just been an amazing an amazing amazing experience I just, wow, it's just been, it's just been absolutely amazing. So I'd like to really thank, like I said, I'd like to thank the CCs. God really just sent them at the time where we needed them the most. And they have showed up in our lives. And even last night they showed up, wish me happy birthday. The kids were here and I felt happy i felt content i felt i felt like god was shining upon me because it's not even about like celebrations and 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 gifts and i i'm coming to realize that i i enjoy quality time it is something that moves me emotionally um and quality people and there's just so much that i can learn from them even Kareen, I wanted to thank Kareen as well. Um, it's been very interesting getting to know her and her getting to know our family and just being there for us. There are people who showed up. There are people who came out of the woodwork. There are people who just... <laughs> wow. They stood up and said, hey, we are here for you. And they've just been an absolute blessing. The Chicos as well. They've helped us get through pregnancy. They've helped us walk through the different stages of, 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 of our life. From since when we left before last year, they've kept holding our hands. They've kept mentoring us, opening up their hearts, their families, and their lives to us. And I'm extremely, extremely grateful for them and everything that they have done for us. Now, I realize that I'm going to start forgetting names, so. <laughs> There's so many people. I wanted to thank Kathy as well. When we started our channel, she was one of our first subscribers. And since then, she has always been like, guys, she's been encouraging us to release videos. She's like, yeah, I can't wait to get a video from my favorite YouTubers. <laughs> and she's just been supporting us She's just been right there encouraging us. And one of the amazing things that I've seen God do in her life is I've seen God transform her. I've seen the, I've seen a lot of transformation in people's lives this year. I've seen God use people, God transform people, and people become closer to God. Um, it's, it's, it's with a grateful spirit and also a heavy heart that I, I sit here on the, on, the, on the, the beginning of my fourth decade. Um, remembering those who should have been here with us or who could have or remembering those who are no longer here with us 
because God decided that it was just the time. Um, you know, when I got the news a couple of weeks ago that Chan had passed, it really just it can it 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 touched me because of all the life, the beauty, the light that she brought into this world. And even, you know, I find myself just thinking about Josema as well and thinking that at any moment in time, God can call us home. At any moment in time, it could be our last moment in time. And I've always believed that I want to live my life and I want to die empty. I don't want to die or I don't want to get to the end of life and still have unfulfilled purpose in my life or joy that I didn't share or just some people that I didn't speak to or encourage. And that's why I try my best to be encouraged and to encourage those around me. There are people who ask me, how are you always so happy? How do you come to work happy? How are you always smiling in the midst of everything? And I tell you, I can't really explain it. It's just God because I know where I should have been. I know how close it was for me to not make it here, to not be here. When I had my appendicitis in 2014, I thought this was the end of me. When I was when they were wheeling me into surgery, I was saying, God, there's a possibility I can close my eyes today and never open them again. Or the next time I open my eyes, it's in the eternal life. And I just wanted to make sure that everything is okay. That, you know, repented and everything. But I don't want to live repentant just because I fear that I'm going to die. I want to live repentant knowing that there is a God. I want to live repentant knowing that I want to be with him when he comes back. You know, too many times we live our lives in fear of immediately dying. But I think when we live like that, we waste the beauty of loving God for who he is. We just fear death. There's something beautiful when you love God and you live life, you share life, you, you encourage others in his word because you love God. And so moving into this next decade, having a new responsibility of father, I put that in my portfolio. Yes, my resume is updated. <laughs> I'm just sitting there and just reminiscing and thinking about how this little one now is going to need me to step up to the plate and how important it is to be a man. Um, I remember when she was born, one of the things that I said was, I was when she was born initially, I was a little concerned about how fragile she was. And I remember speaking to some other men and they were saying that, you know, when they had their daughters as well, they felt a little intimidated. And I've heard other men say that. And I think one of the things that really kind of made me realize how fragile she was, was being a man, looking at this little girl, and especially when you have to take care of her, you have to change her, you have to clean her. You, it puts you in a position where you're like, you know, you ha it's your responsibility to take care of her. And in her most vulnerable and then it hurts your heart to know that there are men who can take advantage of that situation, take advantage of these little ones, and they're not being men. So I think God gives daughters to men that he really wants to refine their character. And I really thank God for choosing me to be one of those men um, to refine my character. But moving forward is just, just grace, just gratefulness. Um, there's been a lot of things that have happened. I'd like to thank you guys for coming along the journey with us through 2023. Um, you know, there have been times I've, I've struggled with self-doubt. I felt like I was failing. I felt like I wasn't good enough. I fell victim to the, the trap of comparison. Comparison being the thief of joy. There are a lot of things that have happened. But moving forward, I just want God to... My prayer is that each and every one of you guys who watch this channel can see God. Not just in us showing you God, but also in your personal lives. And God will show himself, will show up and show off in your lives. That doesn't necessarily mean financial blessing. 
it just means God showing up in your life. And for me, I want God to continue showing up in my life as I continue to seek him. Um, this year is a year that I really want to get a little bit more involved in church, read my Bible a lot more, and try to start consuming some Christian literature as well. I do see the importance as a man, as a father, as a husband, to become the leader that God expects me to be or that God has that God has called me to be so that I can lead my family. And it's just been it's just been an honor being here with you guys, making content for you guys. But above all else, you know, we have to share our beliefs and I want you guys to know how much God is good. Despite everything, God has just been good. God has been showing himself good and gracious. You know, God has been taking care of our families. He's been taking care of our friends. He's been taking care of those around us. Um, he's been just encouraging us, sending people out of nowhere, and neighbors, random people on the street who would just say the, the right thing at the right time that hits the right spot in the in the heart that was a doubting spot and it 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 it, it attacks that, that 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 doubt specifically it's like a an antibody for that doubt a specific antibody for that doubt god has just been good god has honestly been good now entering my fourth decade i just i want to enter with god that's all i want i don't want Everybody talks about, you know, making money and investments and stuff, which is important so that you can provide for your family and whatnot. But what I want this year and even moving forward is God and more of God, everything else. I will say, seek ye first the kingdom of God and everything else. Everything else, just, it falls into place. That's it. it. Everything just falls into place. It's just... Wow. So guys, I would like to encourage you above all else to put God first, to keep God first and to continue trusting in him. Some of you may be going through some tough situations. Some of you may not know where or how you're going to get through a situation, but trust God. Shemaine stopped working in July, in June. And one of the concerns that we had was you know, now having one source of income and having a baby on the way. How are we going to do it? And over the course of that time, God has provided. I don't know where the provisions come from. I don't know why God is choosing to shine favorably upon us. But God has just been extremely merciful, graceful. The people he has sent around us is just the help, the advice, the encouragement. Oh my gosh sometimes i feel unworthy to have to be surrounded by the people that god has put in my life i feel like i god why me why me but god is able to do exceedingly abundantly above and god doesn't see like man the outward appearance but god looks at the heart god knows what it is that we need and god will give us the desires of our heart he will give our hearts like chandler moore said the desires of the things of him or what our hearts should desire the true desires of our hearts not the desires of our minds reflected in our hearts but really and truly he will begin to peel back the layers of of stone give us a heart of flesh as the bible says a beating heart where we can then see his glory manifested in our lives so i just I'm very grateful for just everything. Thank you guys so much for just sitting down with me on my rant, my 30-year-old rant. I would like to believe that I'm a little wiser today than I was yesterday. <laughs> but I pray that God continues to keep each and every one of you guys, to encourage you guys and everyone that's listening, everyone that's watching our channel. May God just bless you guys. May he reveal himself to you. May he show himself gracious unto you. 
He raise up his countenance towards you and may you find peace. A peace that surpasses all understanding. May doors begin to open in your lives. May situations that where men have said no, God will begin to say yes. And even situations where men have said yes and God says no, may you guys begin to trust him, knowing that everything that he does is for our good. There are things that we wanted in life that God told us no. During the course of the year, there are things we wanted and God said no. We were going to spend, we wanted, we needed to get a vehicle. We were doing the paperwork and everything to get a vehicle and God said no. And then we ended up getting another vehicle. But God has just been gracious. Not every no is a bad no. And don't always expect a yes from God. Just trust him. His plan is perfect. His process is perfect. It's just we're the ones that need some refining. And as long as you trust God, you will come out the other end. The fire is what is used to test the products. Continue to surround yourself with people who will encourage you as iron sharpens iron. And may you guys just continue to be blessed. Thank you guys so much for being part of the Prosperous family. And may God continue to bless you guys. And above all else, keep God first in everything that you do. Everything that you do. God has kept my heart. He's kept my mind. He's kept my family. There are times where people have expected me to fail, wanted me to fail, wanted harm from me. People who deliberately did things to hurt me and my family, but God brought us out the other end. God has kept us. God has been gracious to us. And just like Joseph said in Potiphar's house, how can I, how can I sin against my master? You know, God has been so good to us. How can I look into my heart and see that there is no God? How can I turn away from the things of Christ? If anything, God has given me an even deeper understanding of, 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 of his word throughout the course of the year. Anyway, if I stay here, I'll talk forever. <laughs> I should have done this as a YouTube live, but that's fine. So guys, thank you so much for sitting down with me. May God continue to bless you guys. I've said that three times. I, <laughs> I need you guys to understand. But thank you to all of you guys who showed up, even those that I haven't mentioned, even to those who were close, may have, we may have had a little distance going between us. Won't let you guys know that we still love you guys. Um, and may 2024 bring the mercies and the graces of God in our lives. Take care, guys, and have a wonderful day.